Welcome back to another edition of Leo Built It. Um, my first attempt at laminating the countertop from the previous video. So you guys saw me. This is the the um, end result. This is all nice and even after a couple passes with my handy dandy uh, with my handy dandy electric planer. Um, the boards were laminated together using the uh, tight bond ultimate wood glue. They were clamped together. It's been several weeks now, so this is literally rock solid. I unfortunately do not have a 12 inch planer, which will make my life a hell of a lot easier. If I had one, then all these boards would be nice and even. Unfortunately, I don't want to spend the next three months planing this sucker down. Uh, to uneven widths and then sanding it to half an inch is already an inch and a half wide um, So what I'll do is I'll stick this aside until I do get a planer at which point I'll probably end it Okay, so this is what it looks like so far uh, I've been gluing and tacking down the strips of four and a half inch pieces of pallet from the last video uh, I am grateful not only for my in-laws, but for my in-laws' neighbors, who uh, are quietly reading next door. So, I'm going to uh, finish off the last strips that I have. I've been mating the, the sides as close to plus as possible, so I don't have to spend a lot of time sanding this down, um, as well as getting the uh, ends of the pieces of board um, as close to flush as possible so I don't have to spend a lot of time with the, the flush trim rod after I'm done. Um, so it's a good little recycling project if anyone wants to get in on the recycling deal this is the best way to go. Something small honestly looks like a try not to knock over the rest of the boards. It looks like I'll, I'll, I'll get an overhead shot here shortly, um, but it looks like a um, hardwood flooring from the 1910s, 20s, or whatever, and that's the look I want, the scallop hardwood look, and even though it's technically not hardwood, but once it is encapsulated in epoxy, it'll be as hard as a rock, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is the uh, overhead shot of the vanity top as I I'm uh, doing it um, I'm gonna do a couple of rows so you guys see how I've been uh, going through let me get my nail gun here um, excuse the noise please the uh, compressor is going to go off every couple of minutes I have to get a new uh, air hose the uh, free compressor I got from my dad, thank you dad, uh, for the compressor, I, I'm using it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, has an air hose, that has a little pinpoint and it leaks slowly. So, I'm just mating up the pieces as I need them. So this is not square, a square cut, so I won't be able to use that one. So, screw holes, I face towards the bottom. Depending on which side has more character, I believe this one has a little bit more character to the rest of it. So, this is as close to flush. And then a couple more pieces over here. And then, set this. Oh. And this is not even close to thick enough. Oh, I see. This one flares out. It's not even cut correctly. I not use that. How about this one? No, this is too, too narrow of a piece, but it mates nicely with this little red piece over here, so I might not use that. In this row, there's a longer piece here. Okay. And then put this one over here. That's a little better. So, yeah, just sort of scalloped a bit. Um, I've been 
clamping as I go along. But now I'm using my the rest of this almost done will be the last one merch spot I buy. Because I enjoy using type box. Of the wood glue, it's the uh, nice one, it's it's water resistant. I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube use this and uh, yeah, that's good for uh, Jimmy Duress, that's good for me. Yes, I am a Duress fan. I am. Uh, I like to make stuff with uh, Bob and uh, the Drunken Woodworker. It's another one that I follow. Uh, plugs for their channels. I'll put this, uh, links on their stuff. Not that they need it. I guess you get the gist of how this is going. Um, the three noises you hear in the background are the uh, air compressor, the um, makeshift uh, dust collection system that I have, which is my, uh, I found the Shark vacuum cleaner. It's the dumpster where I live at, the complex I live at. I needed something to collect dust and I wasn't going to dedicate my mini shop back just for that one purpose, so I figured I'd find a uh, cheap or a free replacement for that kind of ideology and lo and behold I found the shark and it clogs a lot. Alright, I'm going to use the store bought cedar, it's a nice little red reddish tones to it. Uh, there, I have another one with deeper uh, uh, tones and marbling through it that I'm going to use for the uh, trim. Uh, so it'll basically look like, well you guys like this basically with the, the, the dark red uh, green at the end. After all this is nice and sand smooth. And then I'm going to uh, measure out the existing vanity um, in my in-laws guest bathroom which is where this is going. Um, they have a existing vanity and I promised them uh, that to hell and back, or to heaven and back, if you will, that I wouldn't make uh, a mess in their bathroom until I had all the components ready to be installed. So the top is almost done. We're finished this tonight. I'm gonna wrap the uh, the the border in the uh, uh, cedar. I'm going to uh, measure out the lengths of wood that I need for the 1x4x8 piece of cedar that's behind the camera. For the base, I'm going to make a base for it. I'm going to laminate the base with uh, pallet wood so it's sturdy. Um, I'm going to make, let me freeze, I'm going to make a, a, a frame for the base out of the pallet wood and then I'm going to laminate it with the cedar. So on the inside it'll be pallet wood on the exterior it'll look like a nice piece of cedar. I'm going to have the grain match. I'm going to have a nice little miter, miter corner and um, after I have that done then my friends I shall start uh, finishing the cabinet once the framing for the, the base is done and I'll attach the frame to the cabinet. I can start finishing the doors. Um, and then uh, talk to them about install, which is going to be another beautiful long video.